Hey guys, welcome back to Clock at Dandy Noodles for another breakdown of Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode Number 8. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's a fantastic episode to break down today. There's a lot to dig into and it's tickling my symbology itch because if you've been on the channel long enough, you know, one thing Becca really likes is breaking down symbology. I love it. I love it when an anime gives me a lot to really delve into. This episode gave me so much to delve into. It's like Christmas came all at once for me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. I hope you're having a great week make sure you guys are subscribed we are now going into the final turn of this season obviously finland saga is going nowhere we get to break that down next season too spoiler alert, you guys know exactly one of those things i'm breaking down next season on the channel congratulations do make sure you are subscribed so you can have my end of season review where i get to crown my top three anime will finland saga make it onto the top three list maybe we shall see it did very well in the midways and if you haven't seen the midways go check that video out it took me such a long time to get that together there will also be a video going out soon which will cover the spring season it's going to be a very different season in general i can't wait thank you guys so much let's crack straight on because there's so much ground to cover and the open was a surprise to me i thought i just clicked on 6.5 again we finally get to see what happens at the end of episode 6.5 which is nice because it's a tie-in if you haven't seen episode 6.5 do check it out it is on mappa's channel but it continues the dream from where you leave off at the end of episode 6.5 it now throws Aina into the equation. I believe the point of this is that Thorfinn is starting to put faces to his victims. And obviously he's making progress with his relationship with Aina right now. He's starting to become more and more aware of his actions. Still could have been anybody in this. And he's putting Aina in there because Aina's got a very similar backstory. I don't believe that Thorfinn had anything to do with this. Aina would be dead. His village was attacked twice. It definitely wasn't the second time round because we saw that play out. And by that point, Thorfinn was a slave because i know is still alive and we know his mum was there and his sister was there theoretically he let them go whoever it was with those guys did let them go i think the point is it wasn't i know that fourth thing walked in on that day but the point is on this sequence is it could have been anybody it wouldn't have made it right either this nightmare sequence continued and there's so much symbology i was initially breaking down in that little sequence it's a five minute video if you haven't checked that out on a channel we can see in the next sequence which really does line up with that op fourth in trying to push forward there's a lot of falling and if you're falling in your dreams it generally means that you're having a lack of control in your life or you feel that you've got no control in the situation which is perfect for Vorfin. but we can see he's trying to push forward he wants to climb back up he wants to go forward with his life his past is holding his back his actions are holding his back all of the people that he has taken lives from are holding him and preventing him from moving forward i love this symbology because it really links up the op episode 6.5 it really puts it nice and neatly in one if you even skipped episode 6.5, this still shows you exactly why he's having these repeating nightmares. The fact that he starts to actually remember them as well, I think that is generally a good sign. It feels like it's okay for him to start facing things. The opening up to Aina is just progress. There's a lot of progress this episode in general. There is also a bit of a backward step a bit later on that we need to discuss. But there was a lot of progress made. Speaking Asklad's name, that's also progress because he is the face of trauma for Thorfinn. He is the root of the of the trauma for Thorfinn. It's where it all started. He's the man who took his father's life and he started the train of revenge. You can see the absolute terror in Thorfinn's face as he hears the name. And I did initially think he had subconsciously forgotten Asklad, but I don't think that's the case. All the way through this episode, he states, I've forgotten something very important. And I kept thinking about what it could be, whether it was his family, mum and sister, maybe he forgot about Leif Erikson something that kept coming to my mind was maybe he forgot what Thor's told him I think I briefly remember it being along the lines of you have no enemies could be wrong but that is my nearest guess to what I think it is that he feels he's forgotten and it's very important 11 years 11 years of warfare something I did see on a channel where somebody was slamming Thorfinn for being so short and the only thing which really came to mind was during the years where Thorfinn was out at the battlefield they are your most important years they're the years where you need to be eating right you need to grow up lead a pretty stable diet all i could think about was could you really imagine asgard telling forfin to eat his greens so i am not surprised that forfin is a lot shorter than fours because i think somebody was getting really steamed up why forfin was so short blah 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 but it really does make sense that he would be so short 
because he hasn't had a stable diet. I think he was scrounging around trying to make it from day to day. So I don't think Asgard was telling him to drink milk and stuff. We don't exactly know what Thorfinn forgot. Thorfinn just knows it was very important. I do wonder if he's ever going to reconnect with his sister and his mum because I think they're both still alive. I know this week becoming that very mature voice of reason. Hating a dead man won't get you anywhere. It's true. If you hate somebody who is no longer even around, you are going to be forever stuck in the past. You're going to be wasting your time thinking about the past constantly and you will never move forward. Ultimately, I think this is the first step which we take with Thorfinn. I don't hate him anymore. The hate is gone. Now that I don't hate somebody, obviously hate was the reason why I was alive. It's the reason why I was able to get through my, my past. Without hate, Thorfinn feels like he has nothing. He feels empty. And now he's at this point where a lot of the lines for Thorfinn this episode were very philosophical. He's at the point when he's debating, well, what is there? What can I do? Can I change? Can a person even move forward after doing something so terrible? And I just love the fact that Ina is such a great sounding board for Thorfinn. Ultimate surprise when old man Katil, I don't remember the guy's name, forgot it my bad he was overhearing everything and then he starts to give really good advice and why he gives very good advice is because he used to be a warrior he has a sword in his house we see it very briefly when we're having food i think snake is in the building with him the fact that he's giving also very fatherly advice because he's had a son makes this even better because this is a boy who grew up without a father here i am telling you take it one step at a time you can learn one thing after another thing because you're empty that is a clean slate you can rebuild however you you want i absolutely love that because it's the idea that Thorfinn could perhaps have a rebirth become somebody new hearing the entire conversation old man katil hasn't given up or doesn't look at Thorfinn in a different manner he tells him keep working but he also tells him that you can change you, you can reborn to whatever it is that you want i also love Thorfinn's honesty during the section when he's really thinking deep sorry i wasn't listening I weren't listening. I'm so sorry. If I missed you talking about whatever it was you were talking about. I love that. I really do love Thorfinn's honesty. That's definitely something that he's got in his ballpark. He really is going deep this week. The question of can a man change? Well, you've already started to change. You're not the same person from before. A lot of the anime people are starting to realise that Thorfinn is not the same person. This week we see a little spark of old Thorfinn, but it's still not the same. If that was old Thorfinn in that fight, most of those men would probably be dead. And we know he's changed. And the fact that he doesn't initially get angry he looks pretty calm i think he's learned how to be calm after what he's been through but it's still not what old Thorfinn would have done old Thorfinn was very different so the answer is yes a man can change and you have already started to change Ina, Ina now taking the Thorfinn role this week. That war face, that is a man who means business. That is a man who's had enough, has finally snapped. It's really weird seeing that it's Thorfinn acting as the voice of reason this time because he's trying to calm him down. He's, we can't do this. Oh, Thorfinn would have just gone and murdered them. Definitely changed there, but wow. Just seeing Ina now taking on that anger you've taken away the one thing that I could look forward to. You've taken away my hope. You've left me with nothing. He starts to take on the Thorfinn role where he suddenly sinks into a bit of a depression. He's now empty and he's angry at the same time. It's really interesting to have Thorfinn playing the opposite role, but also sad because the reason why Thorfinn says I'm not angry is because I've committed way worse crimes than the retainers have. I deserve to be killed also by your hand if you're going to go and kill them. I get that. And it's also just so sad because Thorfinn feels like he doesn't have a right to be angry when he should be angry about what these guys have done it anger doesn't help you but it allows you to get initially it out of your system so there is a place for anger but it can't be something that you cling to for very long my worry was that the retainers were just going to keep doing this over and over again and i started to wonder if, if they were continuing to do this could they ever really be free i wasn't expecting them to have an investigation though wasn't expecting them to actually take them seriously because you're slaves I wasn't expecting him to go, okay, we'll look into this. We're going to look at the field. We'll see if we can find anybody. The fact that it's an ex-slave also, being very sympathetic, I love. I was really worried that, well, you're not going to do anything. There's not a lot you can do. You can see them just getting more and more angry, the retainers anyway. It was a boiling point where you knew they were just going to bubble over. And even the ex-slave says, this also happened to me. I've been through the same thing. Bullying just keeps on happening. All of this leading to Ina having that little slumpy moment where he just wonders, like, what am I actually living for? What's the point of all of this? We do get confirmation that Arnhide will never be free. I think I said last week as well, I expected her not to have the same plea deal. She's a woman. The past is the worst. And most of the time during any period, the women very rarely get rights. 
really, really sucks. And like Ina says, like if they like you, you're still stuck. And if they hate you, well, this is what happens. There's nothing that we can do. The next sequence for me was so relieving. But at the same time, I know that anger is bad and violence is bad. And it was definitely not going to be the answer because, of course, if they get angry it's going to be a hell of a lot worse. As much as I love this next sequence, uh, you've been treating these people like absolute dirt and you deserve this. But at the same time, I'm like, even just feeling like this, I know that bad things are coming our way. I know there's going to be consequences. But I really was not expecting it to be the punch that Thorfinn laid out because I was expecting us to follow Ina's fist and it looked like we were going in to follow the fist. That fake out though, when it actually ends up being Thorfinn laying down the, the smackdown, because I think even he was shocked because he looks at it and he's like, oh God, what have I done? Dawns on him pretty immediately. What the hell have I done? I am so proud of you, Forfin, right now for standing up for you and Ina. But you are now so fecked. It is just so bad. It is such a great moment. All of that stress that we feel for these guys, how wrong the entire situation of slavery really just is. Treating people like dirt. I hate that. I really did enjoy this next little fighty sequence, but of course, well, the consequences are going to come now and it's going to be very bad. I can imagine it could be punishable by death. Very worried for our boys. I'm panicking a little bit. I'm like, okay, either you're going to have to run away or something. I, I don't know. I don't understand where we can go from this situation. If we're talking about has a man changed? Well, Thorfinn definitely changed. I think he was holding back. He did the one punch. And then he's on the floor because he gets smacked over the head anyway. If that had been old Thorfinn, those guys wouldn't have stood a chance. They probably wouldn't be alive anymore. That retainer's got a broken jaw, but that could have been so much worse if that was old Thorfinn. It would have been stabby stabby. That's it. As Thorfinn is blacking out, he starts to remember. He remembers the old lady's face, the old lady who he betrayed in season one. And he remembers his dad, which really makes me think he forgot the line, you have no enemies. What I did also like this episode was once that I didn't carry a, an axe. Yeah, you had daggers because you couldn't carry an axe. But at the same time, I like that because he's trying to find a bit of lightheartedness in the situation. As we see Ina pulling on his best. Rawr, this is my war face. I'm a warrior. Rawr. I like it. It's really, really nice little moment that. It really was just one hell of an episode. It flowed. Farmland Saga might have just kind of been scrapped because I don't know how we're going to progress next week. The teaser doesn't really give me much. It just looks like we're going back into the dream nightmare sequence because Thorfinn's obviously out cold. I don't think it's going to be good. Katil's going to flip. He doesn't really like the idea of punishing people, but I don't know how he's going to get them out of this because this seems like they've crossed the line. People are going to be expecting the death sentence or something for these guys because you struck your masters, you struck the retainers, you struck a free man. I just don't see it ending very well so I'm very worried I have to say the amount of relief I felt when that punch connected that guy was just horrible I just wanted to see it guys I feel really bad it makes me feel really bad when I have to say stuff like this because violence is just wrong it, you should never be solving your issues with your fists but at this point I don't think they could have really done anything it would have continued something had to give but sadly now does this mean that our boys are now at risk of the death sentence thank you guys so much for tuning in I hope you guys are looking after yourself I've got some slight bumping to do with upcoming week. Make sure you are tuned in and hit the bell because there's going to be a notification on the community page. Essentially, my birthday is coming up. The time I've taken out and I'm going to be away, it's crossing the next lot of releases. Your video is going to be affected. Off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure the Vinland Saga one is affected by like a day or something. If you're not already, make sure you hit the little alarm bell on the channel or subscribe a community post go up at some point as I tell you when the new dates will be so thank you guys so much wish me luck as I age up and become a bit older every single year I now get older I'm just sad I'm looking forward to taking a break getting out of the country so thank you guys so much see you soon bye bye